Hey, it's Trader Joe's again. Uh, I do a video, I'm doing a video on those two straps side by side so you can see the size difference. This is the, uh, the DLT uh, Ultimate Strap. And this is the, uh, the Billy Strap from Strap Man. And um, leather to leather, they're about the same. All right, um, height-wise, the uh, the DLT strap is a bit bigger in terms of the height off the table, you know. And but to me, the big difference is the thickness of the leather of the two. Let's see if I could show this in some way. Um, I'm just flipping this up, and then I'm gonna put this next to it so you can see the leather on the uh, the billy strap well, actually it seems it seems similar but like this actually to me almost feels like like pressed cork compared to like actual suede that's on this and uh, this has a, a strong like a nice leather smell and this doesn't really have much of a smell at all I mean it's clearly it's a suede, but it looks like it's like the kind of suede that almost can flake off pretty easily. This doesn't flake off. Um, this was, I think, $29. I think this was around the same price, maybe maybe a little bit more. I'm not sure, but um, I have a ruler here. Overall length from the end of the handle here is almost right on one foot. Almost on 12 inches, so it's a little a little shy of 12 inches. Let's see if I can line it up exact. A little shy, maybe like an eighth, a little bit more, maybe one, maybe three eighths shy of of, uh, of a foot. And this one, if it, if it was tightened up, I'm tighten them up just to give an idea. This is from the end there, from the end to here, it's a little less than nine and a half. So the other one's longer overall, you know, but the actual leather that you're using is about the same. So you have to decide if you want something with a little less of a overall profile, height-wise. Why is it an inch and uh, one, two, three, four, six eighths? And this is right at two inches. So this is two inches off the table, and this is an inch, a little bit more than an inch and a half off the table. So it's a little smaller in terms of height off the table. But it's it's fine, you know. If you put a fist, you know, if you were stropping something, if you had a knife in your hand, let's try this. If you had a knife in your hand, you know, if you were up on top, you know, you'd have your fingers here. This would be a little. You wouldn't have. You'd have a lot more uh, hand room below the strop with the DLT. This one you could actually have your hand on the table and use it as a guide if you want, you know. So that's that. And this has the ability to, and this is a, I imagine this is a standard size piece of, uh, of um, wet dry paper. So there's enough room for it to bend around on either side and go into the uh, the channels. With this you wouldn't have any ability to attach it unless you wanted to just use rubber bands or something like that or some other way of fixing it if you wanted to use that for that route. So this has an ability that this doesn't have but this has a nice handle to hold on to and it's got a way of hanging from a, a nail or something like that. And this was that full maven Full Maven, wait, 
Paul Maven DC4. Whetstone with the uh, abrasive metal on the side. Looks very flat, so this will this will be good for uh, reprofiling a knife. That's what I'm gonna intend to do. And then once I do that, I'll uh, I'll hone it on this. With, you know, I'll wet it and hone it, and then I'll strop it on one of these. All right, so Trader Joe's and those two straps. The Billy versus the DLT. Have a have a good day. Thank you for watching.